Hello, and welcome to the Features in 5 integration series. My name is Steven Pink, and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect at Java Software. Today, we're going to be walking through a live demonstration of integrating test results from TestRail with Java Connect. We make it possible for you to integrate Java Connect with preferred best-of-breed software to achieve live traceability across the end-to-end -end development cycle. Live requirements traceability is the ability for any engineer at any time to see the most up-to-date and complete upstream and downstream information for any requirement, no matter the stage of systems development or how many siloed tools and teams it spans. This enables significant productivity and quality improvements and dramatically reduces the risk of product delays, cost overruns, defects, rework, and recalls, and ultimately results in faster time to market. The goal of integrating with a testing tool like TestRail is to better visualize test coverage for our requirements. Java Connect can help in identifying and calling out gaps in test coverage while also visualizing and reporting on the test results, utilizing the filters, dashboards, and exportable reports. Integration with TestRail starts by mirroring TestRail's hierarchy of test suites, test sections, test cases, and test results in Java Connect. We use sets of test cases to mirror the test suites and folders to mirror the test sections within those suites. As we transition into Java Connect, I want to point out how we're relating our test results and test cases from TestRail to the requirements being authored and captured in Java Connect. As we look at this relationship diagram, we see our software requirements and our user stories relate to the custom test cases being managed over in TestRail. This is a very common scenario for many of our customers where certain teams might be utilizing a different tool for testing, and we need to integrate those results back with the requirements managed in Java Connect. We can author a test case directly within Java Connect or within TestRail. So we're going to start out by authoring a test case in Java Connect. This demo suite would mirror a suite in TestRail, and this folder would mirror a section in TestRail. I'm going to author a new test case within this folder. We'll call this example test case. And once I've saved this test case, we'll trace it to the requirement that it covers within this project. I'm going to choose one of my example software requirements. So now I've created a test case with a relationship to the software requirement that it covers. We'll notice this integration URL is populated automatically and allows us to jump to the mirror of that test case that's been created in TestRail. Once I've signed into TestRail, we'll be able to see that that test case is mirrored. Into TestRail, it is in that demo suite and in section A. If we want to run this test case, I'm going to go to my test runs and results and create a new test run. It's going to be based on that demo suite. And we're going to include all test cases, which is just one in this example. This example test case is now showing untested. And if I were to look back in JAMA, we'll see for my example test case under the relationships, tying back to that software requirement, as soon as we come in here and run our test execution, let's say we update this to passed or failed, this result is going to get sent back to JAMA Connect automatically. We can also see on the test case itself, there's an easy link back into JAMA. So if our test runners working in TestRail would like to see requirement coverage and traceability, they're able to easily click the link from TestRail and go back into JAMA and explore that traceability and coverage. I'll use that link right now to go back to our test case in JAMA. And now we'll see, because we've executed that test case, there's an associated test run. And that test run is showing the result of passed. We can visualize all of this through our trace views, our dashboards, and our custom export templates within JAMA Connect. So this is a great reason to be syncing and integrating these results 
so that we can visualize through the trace view which of these requirements have test cases in place, which requirements might have gaps in testing, as well as being able to drill down and see those test results, even being able to show the status of those test results and the status of the defects associated. Thank you for watching this Features in 5 session on integrating test results between JAMA Connect and TestRail. If you're an existing customer and want to learn more, please reach out to your customer success manager or consultant. If you're not yet a client, please visit our website at jamasoftware.com to learn more about the platform and how we can help optimize your development process.